Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1726, English physicist Isaac Newton passes away today. In 1760, the Great Fire of Boston, Massachusetts destroys 349 buildings. In 1774, the British Parliament passes the Boston Port Act, which closed Boston Harbor until colonists paid for damages they had caused during the Boston Tea Party. In 1800, Alessandro Volta reports his discovery of the electric battery. In 1815, Napoleon arrives back in Paris after escaping the island of Elba, thus beginning what is called the 100 Days. In 1816, the United States Supreme Court reaffirms its right to review state court decisions. In 1852, Harriet Beecher Stowe's novel Uncle Tom's Cabin is published. In 1861, an earthquake completely destroys Mendoza, Argentina. In 1868, Jesse James and his gang rob a bank in Russellville, Kentucky. They get $14,000. That would be about $500,000 in 2022. In 1888, the premiere of the very first Romani language operetta is staged in Moscow, Russia. In 1896, the Marines land in Nicaragua to protect U.S. citizens. In 1911, the Winter Garden Theater opens on Broadway in New York City. In 1914, the first International Figure Skating Championship takes place in New Haven, Connecticut. In 1916, Albert Einstein presents his general theory of relativity. In 1917, after the sinking of three more American merchant ships, U.S. President Woodrow Wilson decides that the United States will need to join World War I. In 1920, the first flight from London to South Africa lands. Don't get too excited, though. It took one and a half months. In 1922, the USS Langley is commissioned as the first United States Navy aircraft carrier. In 1923, the Arts Club of Chicago hosted the opening of Pablo Picasso's first United States art show. In 1930, the American fast food restaurant chain Kentucky Fried Chicken is founded by Colonel Harlan Sanders in North Corbin, Kentucky. In 1933, Giuseppe Zangara is executed in Florida's electric chair for fatally shooting Anton Cermak in an assassination attempt against President Franklin D. Roosevelt. Also in 1933, Dachau, the first Nazi concentration camp, is completed. In 1934, American super athlete Babe Didrikson Zaharias pitches a hitless inning for the Philadelphia A's in their exhibition baseball game against the Brooklyn Dodgers, the first woman to ever do so. In 1939, 7,000 Jews flee German-occupied Lithuania. In 1942, General Douglas MacArthur vows, I came through and I shall return after escaping Japanese-occupied Philippines. In 1944, 2,500 women trample guards and store employees in their rush to purchase 1,500 alarm clocks in a Chicago, Illinois department store. It was in 1944, so it wasn't even Walmart. In 1948, at the 20th Academy Awards, movie Gentleman's Agreement and Loretta Young and Ronald Coleman win. In 1951, the Japanese city of Fuji Yoshida is founded. In 1952, several years after the end of World War II, the United States Senate ratifies a peace treaty with Japan restoring their sovereignty. Also in 1952, at the 24th Academy Awards, An American in Paris, Humphrey Bogart, and Vivian Lee win. In 1954, The King and I closes at the St. James Theater in New York City after 1,246 performances. Also in 1954, in Columbia, Pennsylvania, the first newspaper vending machine appears. In 1967, The Supremes released their single, The Happening. In 1969, John Lennon and Yoko Ono get married in Gibraltar. In 1972, 19 mountain climbers are killed on Japan's Mount Fuji during an avalanche. In 1973, Pittsburgh Pirates right fielder Roberto Clemente is elected to baseball's Hall of Fame 11 weeks after his death in a plane crash. 
Also in 1973, NBC TV premieres the pilot episode of hugely successful TV series, Police Story. In 1974, a failed kidnapping attempt occurs involving Her Royal Highness Princess Anne and her husband, Captain Mark Phillips, in the mall outside of Buckingham Palace in London. In 1976, Patricia Hearst is convicted of armed robbery. I guess she wasn't really kidnapped. In 1977, Premier Indira Gandhi loses re-election in India. In 1980, the Mi Amigo ship containing England's pirate radio Caroline sinks. In 1981, the ex-president of Argentina, Isabel Perón, is sentenced to eight years in prison. Also in 1981, Jean Harris is sentenced to 15 to life for the slaying of the inventor of the Scarsdale diet. In 1982, Joan Jett and the Blackheart song, I Love Rock and Roll, hits number one and stays for seven weeks. In 1983, Martina Navratilova beats Chris Everett Lloyd 6-2, 6-0 to win her first of five straight WTA Tour Championships. In 1984, the United States Senate rejects passing an amendment to permit spoken prayer in public schools. In 1985, Canadian paraplegic athlete and humanitarian Rick Hansen begins his circumnavigation of the globe in a wheelchair. He is doing this to bring attention to spinal cord injury medical research. Also in 1985, just a few days ago we learned that she was racing. Well, today, Libby Riddles becomes the first woman to win the 1,135-mile Iditarod trail sled dog race. In 1986, New York City passes its first lesbian and gay rights legislation. In 1987, AZT becomes the first drug to be approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration for the treatment of AIDS. Also in 1987, today is the final episode of the soap opera Capital. In 1989, MLB Baseball announces that Cincinnati Reds manager Pete Rose is under investigation. In 1990, Imelda Marcos goes on trial for bribery, embezzlement, and racketeering. Also in 1990, the LA Lakers retire Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's number 33 jersey. And in 1990 as well, singer Gloria Estefan's spine is fractured when a truck hits her tour bus near Scranton, Pennsylvania. In 1991, a court awards Peggy Lee $3 million in her suit against Disney over their re-release of Lady and the Tramp. Also in 1991, Michael Jackson signs a $65 million six-album deal with Sony Records. And in 1991 as well, the United States Supreme Court rules unanimously that employers can't exclude pregnant women from jobs where exposure to toxic chemicals could potentially damage the fetus. In 1992, Manuel Noriega's wife Felicidad is arrested for stealing buttons from store dresses. Oh, and her husband was the president of Panama at the time. In 1994, at the 14th Razzie Awards, Indecent Proposal wins for Worst Movie. It was pretty bad. In 1995, a Japanese religious cult released poisonous gas in the Tokyo subway, killing 12 and injuring over 1,300 people. Also in 1995, the Beatles song Baby It's You with John Lennon as the lead singer is released. In 1996, Eric and Lyle Menendez are found guilty of killing their parents and of being spoiled brats, if I'm not mistaken. Also in 1996, scientists in the United Kingdom affirm that humans can catch mad cow disease. In 1999, Bertrand Picard and Brian Jones become the first aviators to circumnavigate the globe nonstop by balloon. Also in 1999, Legoland California opens in Carlsbad, California. At the time, it was the only Legoland outside of Europe. In 2001, the Petrobras 36 oil platform, which is the world's largest, sinks with 400,000 U.S. gallons of fuel and crude oil aboard. In 2006, Cyclone Larry makes landfall in eastern Australia, destroying most of the country's banana crop. In 2007, my youngest daughter Evangelina was born. We just call her Evie. 
In 2012, 50 people are killed and 240 more are injured in a wave of terror attacks across 10 cities in Iraq. Also in 2012, the Disney movie John Carter records a $200 million loss, one of the biggest losses in cinema history. In 2016, Barack Obama becomes the first U.S. president to visit Cuba since 1928. In 2018, actress Cynthia Nixon announces she will run for a New York governor. She didn't win. In 2019, four men are arrested in South Korea for secretly filming 1,600 hotel guests and selling the footage on the internet. Also in 2019, in England, a woman who can smell Parkinson's disease has helped researchers identify molecules on the skin of people with the disease. That is a good nose. In 2020, American country music legend Kenny Rogers died at age 81. Also in 2020, India hangs four men for the 2012 gang rape and murder of a woman on a bus in New Delhi. It's about time. Have you ever watched The Amazing Race when teams go to India? And in 2020 as well, after 20 years with the New England Patriots, quarterback Tom Brady officially moves to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And lastly in 2021, Japanese organizers confirm that overseas spectators will not be allowed to attend the Tokyo Summer Olympics due to COVID-19. Thanks for watching today's episode. I hope you give me a thumbs up, that you subscribe, and that you write something for me down in the comments. That would be awesome. And I'm going to go now and make another video. See you soon.